Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. You need to leave. According to legend, although I never thought to put the tale to the test, Jarl Olaf One-Eye it was, hey, who later became High King. They say he shouted it into submission in single combat atop Mount Anthor, and brought it back to Whiterun. Numenex was the dragon's name. That's his skull decorating the main hall. Hey, get out of here. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let a dragon into the heart of my city? With the threat of war on my doorstep? There must be another way. The risk is too great. Alduin, the world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I didn't say anything about giving up. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will, but I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Then... I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war in the bargain. My men will be ready when you are, Dragonborn. You have a truce to arrange first, eh? Now, if you don't... <clears throat> You need to leave.
Aldwin? We heard the Dragon Wren shout from here. You defeated him? I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Sky above, voice within. Reforming the Dawn God, vampire hunters or something, in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. I'm waiting. You need potions? The road to White Run's not safe these Are days. Are my men now Some giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Right, Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Dismissed. I'm telling you. Hmm, there's something I can do for you? Perhaps direct you to the nearest prison? Hadbar's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. But he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Legged Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. He'd be insane to try. Speak with Legged Ricca. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful Emperor. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that, dragons or no dragons. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. Fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested, Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. 
That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. The Empress cousin Vittoria Vici is getting mad. What is it? I can take you to any of the whole. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. So there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to right run from all Rorik's death. Secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. But who's going to stop him? Me? our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. Yes, we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Greyskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. If you've got I'm some spies. time, stop you by my house serious. of curiosity. Maybe I we'll promise to we'll see you wonder. Staying safe, I hope. Go fiddling with any locks around. Algrif won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from. I Sonic. remember you. The you were at Helgen with us. Come to join the war. The Speak with Garmar. He handles the new recruits. I'm sorry to hear that. If you change your mind, speak with Galmar. What does bring you to me? It's about time they turn their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Alduin, the world eater of song and legend. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. 
How long? Done it. The men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. So, Arn Gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. I'm glad I finally got a chance to see this place. Nova King. When has any good ever come from talking to the Empire? We should get started. Alduin is only getting stronger. Why do so we should get started? Over here we should get started. But there's nothing to be gained by talking to them. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. that we have all come here no. in the spirit of... you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomat. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please, if we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch, either she walks or I do. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Hmm. If 
feels like a mistake to me. But I'll bow to your judgment on this. But she is to observe nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Elfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? You know exactly... No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able We're to here resist. To arrange a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric. General Tullius. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. And do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes. Let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, I'll this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric. You can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely What would the character. Empire want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that... traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. You heard what she said, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith, and now it seems you held the Empire at every turn. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markarth, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to the Thalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false Empire! Let's go, Garmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Aldrin has returned. 
the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does it have Shut to do up. with the... If he's right about Alpen, we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it me. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender Hjalmarch to us, and take Idgrad Ravenkron with you. Surely the Builder will take over as Jarl of Morthal. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say you, Dragonborn? Spoken like a true daughter of Skyrim. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thongvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Makar. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Jarl March will be turned over to Ulfric, with Sorli the Builder assuming the Jarl ship. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Ellison? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Valgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains, how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temp, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. <laughs> ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power, shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of voice like these worthy gentlemen, but it is written here in this scroll. Ord Arvin, winged snow hunter. 
I hope this truce gives you what you need. It won't last. There's one more thing. We know about. Parthenax, the dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. <laughs> 